Some sports parents take it to a different level, whether it be giving a golf club to a three-year-old or screaming at a little league game. But former Cincinnati Bengal Pat McAnally takes a whole different approach. He's learning, man. Don't worry about it. We're not kicking for another two weeks. We'll be fine. That's all you need. Good. All right, nice job. It's a learning process. I'm Angela Sun, and we are outside the game. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it up. Bring it up. Pat McAnally knows the difference between being a pro and a kid. Take a knee, take a knee, guys. Nice job, nice job. As the head coach of Brethren Christian High School, McAnally has a unique role, supporting a quarterback son while being his father. I had to figure out a way to not have to coach my own son at quarterback, because that's, I didn't want to alter our relationship. I wanted to enhance his uh, experience, but not mess it up. What is it like to have your dad, a former NFL player, be your coach? Yeah, there's just some pressure, but it's mostly like how he treats me. It's just like perfect, it's just like a regular coach. McAnally hired offensive coordinator and quarterback coach Ryan O'Hara to focus on his son. That's what he brought me here for. He tells me all the time. He said, you know, I just want to be the dad and the head coach. You be the quarterback's coach and the offensive coordinator. And we keep that barrier. My son Jack was very good at a very young age. He can lead, he can hit people. And that's the gift he has as a quarterback. A former Bengal punter and wide receiver, McAnally grew up competing in sports himself. I loved punting with my father, who knew nothing about it. We just went out on the field and did it for fun, day after day. McAnally attended Harvard, where he became a notable scholar athlete. My dad uh, really pushed me hard athletically, but my mom pushed me hard academically. I always felt that sports were part of me. I never felt I was a football player. I always felt I was a person playing football. As he prepared to enter the pros as a rookie, McAnally surprised NFL coaches with a remarkable personal achievement. He earned a perfect score on the Wonderlick test. The Wonderlick test is part of the process of being drafted. Now it's my turn. I'm going to try it. The test is 50 questions, which you have to complete in 12 minutes. It begins with simple questions, might be, is 11 p.m. before or after midnight? and then works its way into very difficult mathematical problems. This is hard. The highest average score is like 31, and that's lawyers. 21 is the average score for the rest of the country. The problem is people don't finish it. It's the only perfect score by an NFL player in nearly 50 years. I can't even finish it. McAnally spent 10 seasons on the Bengals as a wide receiver and punter and played in their 1982 Super Bowl loss to the 49ers. He retired in 1985, back when pro football salaries didn't set you up for life. Well, at the time that I retired, I actually made more off the field than I did on the field. The most I ever made playing two positions, both punter and wide receiver, was $165,000. But an idea for a simple action figure toy has given him the freedom to support one of his chief passions, competitive youth sports. I just picked up a G.I. Joe and it was like, why don't they just make figures of all the football, baseball, and basketball players? So I got, my, I got my quarterly checks for 13 years, and that, that was the reason we're able to live where we live and do what we want to do, not because of football. It was starting lineup. Fantastic toy. For years, McAnally wrote a nationally syndicated advice column called Pat Answers. I started writing for parents, trying to help them with their children playing youth sports. Now, being a head coach for a small private Christian school in Orange County, California, gives him the chance to put those ideas into action. And our school is very small. Any school we play is at least two or three times bigger than us, and some of them are 10 times bigger. Brethren Christian's football squad is a family affair for the McAnally's. Well, my wife tapes all the games and many of the practices. Abby does the water, and she's always on the sideline. So it's, it's really fun to share it as a family. The Brethren Christian Warriors and quarterback Jack McAnally have a big year ahead. But Coach Mack will keep everyone grounded in what truly matters. It's still only part of their lives, and that's how it should be. We have, you know, 18 football players. Hopefully we'll stay healthy and it'll work. Pat, how has playing on AstroTurf instead of grass changed football? I think AstroTurf took a lot of the fun out. I mean, honestly, if you ask most players, it's fun to get muddy, and the grass fields were, were much better, I think. 